All right, we got to talk about this damage she's putting on the board. I can't figure out if Scorpion is like Scottie Pippen or Michael Jordan. But regardless, this dude is making her do some crazy sh Bro, what the? Y'all want to point out before this video even starts, I couldn't have done this without the YouTube community, especially this individual right here. Y'all are legends. Y'all are goats. Y'all are amazing. Let's get into this video. Lee Mei has quite a few combo starters ranging from her 124 to her 2-1 and even her 4321. Regardless of which combo string you decide to use, when it comes to starting your combo with Scorpion, you're always gonna wanna go into Sheezy line, which is her down back three. Despite it being a little bit weaker than chain reaction, Sheezy Lion pairs better with Scorpion because it allows you to get a free Sky Lantern setup. When you're in the neutral, the best time to call Scorpion in is right before the Sheezy Lion connects. It is very important to note that if you are not near a corner, use the far version of his fire breath. This will give you the most efficient and effective way to extend the combo with Sky Lantern. Her typical bread and butter combos with one cameo and no bars will look something like this. One thing to note is that you should micro dash after Scorpion's fire breath connects. This will ensure that the Sky Lantern doesn't whiff. As you can see, even with one cameo usage, this puts Lee Mei in a three touch situation as every combo was doing well above 360 damage. Really, Jax can't even save you here. When using two cameos with Lee Mei, her combo routes actually start exactly the same. But for extension, there is one big difference. Because they nerfed the rate at which Lee Mei's Sky Lanterns come out, when using two cameos, you'll have to further extend your combo by using Lee Mei's Chain Reaction move, which is back forward four. With the right timing, you can pair Chain Reaction with Scorpion's Far Fire Breath. On top of increasing your damage, you'll also get an amazing corner carry in the process. Let's check out combos with two cameos and no bar. Quick note with this set of combos. Gravity plays an important role here. If a combo has some sort of a pop-up, such as her 1-2-4 or her back 3-4, you'll notice how her combo ender changes from jump 1-3-4 to jump 2-1-2. Because of the gravity scaling with those two moves in particular, there's no way that air flipping heel kick will connect with a jump 1-3-4. So stick with the 2-1-2, trust me. Lee Mei's combo routes vary much differently when using meter, as you will always want to start with her enhanced Nova Blast. This is good for a couple of reasons. If you're a fan of Lee Mei, it doesn't take very long to notice that her enhanced Nova Blast is zero on block. In some instances, after combo strings, it can even be as much as plus two. You can also jail into enhanced Nova Blast from the last hit of her 124 string. Granted, keep in mind there is a gap between the second and third hit of 124. But if your opponent isn't ready to reversal or they don't have any meter, it's always good to end combos with Enhanced Nova Blast because it's going to keep you pretty safe and sometimes even plus. However, when you're in a situation where your opponent is trying to tech a throw or maybe trying to press buttons they shouldn't, sometimes Enhanced Nova Blast hits. You can now make them pay with tons of damage using Scorpion. <laughs> Because let's be honest, it's way easier to hit confirm into Enhanced Nova Blast than it is to gamble with Sheezy Lion. Let's check out some combos that use one bar of meter and one cameo. For the most part, your combo strings are going to look very similar. Once you hit Enhanced Nova Blast, you're going to want to immediately go into back 3-4, Sheezy Lion. From there, I think y'all know the rest. There are a few exceptions, however. Gravity scaling hits pretty hard on 1-2-4, so you'll have to do standing 4-3. With back 3-4 and forward 4-3, you'll have to go a different route and use enhanced air Nova Blast. This will allow you to get the most damage possible. There really isn't much detail to get into when it comes to using two cameos and one bar, so let's get right to it. In a nutshell, every time you want to use both cameos with one bar, 
you'll start the same as if you're using one bar and you'll finish as if you're using two cameos. So the sequences will look kind of similar like this. I do have one caveat though. It is possible to do more damage by doing a stand 4-3 before chain reaction, but the timing on that is absolutely demonic and I do not recommend that. Because of the gravity scaling, please take note that all of these combos end with jump 2-1-2 two, two into air flipping heel kick. Please do not try to do 1-3-4 into air flipping heel kick. You will lose games because of this. I promise. In the corner, your combo routes are going to look exactly the same. There's only one big difference. You cannot call out far fire breath. You can call out mid or close. Personally, I prefer mid because sometimes calling out the close one does a side switch with Lee Mei's opponent. Just make sure on streams where you use enhanced Nova Blast, you backdash before you go into your next move. Also, keep in mind, when you extend Lee Mei's combos enough, she will sometimes carry her opponent to the corner. Be sure to switch up which fire breath you're doing accordingly. Let's talk about some unique situations. There are a couple unorthodox things that Scorpion can help Lee Mei combo off of. Lee Mei's enhanced air flipping heel kick is a phenomenal overhead with incredible range. This attack can be used to catch opponents off guard when they're waking up, and it can even catch opponents who are spamming projectiles. If it doesn't get up blocked, flawless blocked, or armor reversaled, it actually leaves Lee Mei safe at negative six, as it should considering all those things could happen. This attack does a solid 130 damage on its own, but we're gonna use Scorpion to change that. Here are some good ways to get some big damage off of air flipping heel kick enhanced. Lee Mei's 4-3 is an overhead with an extremely long startup, but sometimes it can catch people off guard, especially on wake up. It only does 90 damage unless... Getting over 300 damage on this overhead is enough to make somebody throw a controller across the room. You must call Scorpion out before you do the input for 4-3, otherwise Scorpion's fire breath won't connect. Well, that's it for this guide. I certainly hope you found it helpful. I am well aware that there are tons and tons of guides out there, so I'm really thankful you stuck around for mine. I can't stress enough how much the community has helped me out with this game on YouTube. Y'all have been nothing short of amazing and have helped me learn things that I didn't even know existed. So again, I appreciate y'all. Go eat some good food and kiss a loved one. And as always, I'll see you when I see you.